You can run. You can hide. But we're still gonna talk about you on Drama Live. What is going on, guys? I am the total reason, and you are watching Drama Freaking Live. How is everybody out there today? How is everybody doing? I hope you're all doing great. I hope you're all doing excellent. God bless America. Ha! I know all of you out there are very, very, very confused, very, very scared, and wondering what the hell is going on with democracy. Has democracy died? Are we in an episode of The Twilight Zone? We are in an episode of The Twilight Zone. No one has faces. Everybody is a sheep. Everybody believes the media machine. What the media machine tells you is what the truth is. Trump is a racist and Biden is a hero. Or is he? I mean, Biden was the one that supported school segregation in the 1950s and 60s. He said that white kids going to school with black kids would be like them trying to navigate in a jungle. These are his actual words. This guy tried to put Ku Klux Klan members in as mayors and govern governors. This guy, oh, let's see, what else has he done? Let's see, what hasn't he done? This man wrote, he wrote and authored the stop and frisk laws that allowed white police officers to randomly stop black men against their constitutional rights of the United States of America and search them without probable cause to search them without any warrants or writs or reasons. This is the exact law that African Americans associate with systematic racism and the police to this very day. And this man, this democratic hero, Joe China Beijing Biden, is the man that wrote these laws. This man wants to put us back into the Paris Climate Agreement, the one that destroyed our economy. This man, this man is the same man that funded the cages to lock the children up when their Mexican parents crossed the borders with them. Him and Obama bought and paid for and installed the cages. They used the cages first. But because Barack Obama was black, he can't be racist. They all turn a blind eye to these facts. If you ask them about this, what do they say? What do they say about Hunter Biden's laptop that has pictures of him doing crack and pictures of underage children performing sexual acts? This is the way Hunter Biden is. This family is full of pedos. There is picture and picture and video and video of Joe Biden sniffing little girls' hairs and whispering in their ears and trying to kiss them on the cheeks. This man is a sicko. Besides the fact of him being a sicko, he cannot remember anything. He says things one minute and forgets he says them literally two minutes later in the Democratic debates when they were trying to figure out who the Democrat was going to be to run against Donald Trump. Even his own fellow Democrats were like, do you not remember what you just said two minutes ago? He lies to people's faces. He says one thing and then two minutes later says another. The same thing with Kamala. One minute it's, we're against fracking. The next minute is, we love fracking. Then it's, we won't allow it. Then it's, we will. Then it's, we're going to support the oil industry. Then it's, we're going to eliminate all oil. Dude, this man panders to whatever he thinks these people want to hear. This man, Joe Biden, said that he was supported by the plumber union and they supported and 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 were for him they had to come out themselves the union leader had to come out on on camera and say we didn't support him he straight up lied about this he straight up lied and said that a union supported him and they didn't this man lied right to your faces and doesn't care he doesn't understand technology. This man's still living in the 50s and 60s. He thinks he can say stuff in this town, if he even remembers what town he's in, and that nobody is going to remember that he said it. Telling Donald Trump to 
Oh, show me where I ever said that I was against fracking. Go ahead and put that on your website. Literally five minutes later, Trump's got the exact video of him saying he's against fracking. This man doesn't realize that technology records everything you say and do, and we can look at it again over and over in high definition and see that you are lying. The Democrats do not look and care. They don't care that this man's a liar and a racist. They just want anybody to take Trump out. They don't care if the guy is Beijing Biden. They just want orange man bad gone. It doesn't matter if it's a pedophile racist that they're replacing orange man with. This is how desperate they are. This is where my theory comes in. As you all know, my Dr. Disrespect theory is probably most likely spot on. And I have a theory, a running theory about, about what's going on right now in this country. You see, he had this plan from the beginning. China and the Democrats knew that they had tried to rig the election with Hillary and Trump. They tried. They used the, the, the dead giveaway was the media. The media and the polls that said that Trump had no chance and that Hillary was leading by all this and she had it in the bag, Trump had no chance. This was your first clue that the media was using propaganda to trick you and to trick everybody into thinking that he had no chance. This is the red flag that proves this is their intentions. This is not accidental. They used the media to push an agenda with propaganda to convince people of one thing. It is straight up propaganda in your face, in your brain. It is undeniable and it is true. Now they failed. They used, they, they, flipped, they flipped votes and voting machines, they voted with dead people, and they used the media to push propaganda, and Trump still won via landslide. They realized that this was going to happen again. There was nothing they could do. They could not pump the numbers up good enough on the voting machines to overcome Trump's popularity. They said there's only one thing we can do, and that's somehow make it so people mm, don't have to show up at all. Somehow we can just have votes come in either on the computer or on paper, and people don't. So we can so we can pump numbers up even more. How do we do that? The only way to do that is to shut things down and make it so people can't go anywhere. China had just the thing, a little bit of a flu, a little Wu flu. Yeah, yeah, the Wu flu, the China flu, the Wu flu. They knew that it was just bad enough to scare the shit out of everybody, but not bad enough to actually wipe out the whole human race. But it was bad enough to be able to pull the biggest heist that has ever been seen since GTA 5. Are you kidding me? So, the Wu flu was released out into the public and scared the dickens out of everybody, and the left blew it out of proportion and used their media propaganda machine to push their agenda once again, to scare everybody into hiding. I mean, you drive by, by signs and it says, oh, we're socially distant, but giving you the news. Like, in what, in what universe is being socially distant a good thing? Do you know what we used to call socially distant people? We called them shut-ins and hermits. They want everyone to be a hermit right now. They want you to be a hermit. They want me to be a hermit. Because then we're not together as a group. As a group, we're strong. We can stand up. We can talk. We can do things. We can fight. We can push back as a group. But singled out and separated, we're weak. We're by ourselves. We're alone. And when you're alone and don't have that group, you can be crushed. You can be freaking crushed and controlled. So this Wu flu went out and scared everybody with the propaganda machine. Made it, so guess what? Oh, mail-in voting is the only way to go. We're going to have all this mail-in vo Yeah, you can still come in person. Well, you can still come in person. If that was still an option, why didn't they make that the only option? Why did they make it so there was mail-in? If everybody, and it's okay, and the masks and social distancing worked, why couldn't we just have a regular election? Why, why was mail-in voting something that had to be included this time? Well, because that was the whole point of the Wu flu, was to have the mail-in voting take effect. That was their key. That was their ticket to pumping up the numbers just enough to let Beijing Biden steal this election. Everybody knows it. Trump would not make these lawsuits. He would not push for this stuff unless he knew that this was the case. 
We can all we can all see it. We can all feel it. We all know what's going on. You know it. I know it. The Democrats know it. Your liberal friend down the street knows it. He knows he cheated. They know they cheated. They don't care. They've never cared. The people that would put a virus out into the world just to make voting by mail an option are the kind of people that have no disregard for anyone else's health or safety. They just want the power. The Great Reset is upon us. They want communism. They want to take away all private land. They want to take away your freedom. They want the government to be able to tell you how to do things, when to do things, and to wait for your government-issued bag of rice every week to eat. This is not good. So my theory is that's what they did, and this is what's going on. Now, we all know about the Hammer software and the, uh, the uh, hardware and the software uh, scorecard, which was made by a company that is majorly owned in the stocks by, guess who? Nancy Pelosi's husband. That's right, Nancy Pelosi, the one that said that she had more arrows in her quiver to take Trump out, if need be. This woman's husband paid and operated the largest single-handedly voter scam fraud operation that has ever been seen. Scorecard took 30% of all of Trump's votes and switched them to Biden votes in key areas in order to win. And the mail-in voting was their cover, was their covert camouflage of murky swamp water to haze everything just enough to get away with this. And now the media, the one that told us for four years that Russian collusion is what gave Trump this first win, and their voter fraud through Russia is why the Republicans won, is now telling you that it is absolutely impossible for anyone to commit voter fraud. And there's no way that the Democrats could ever pull something like this off. You'll notice that no one mentions China. Who has the most to gain from all of this? You need to ask yourself, when anything happens, you follow the trail of money. Who benefits and profits the most from Biden being in office? China. That's right. China and their polluting ways were axed and hindered by Trump and his administration, giving America more power and taking it from China. Because China is overtaking our economy. China owns most of our debt. And when they come to collect, what are we going to do when we can't pay them back? They're going to own our asses. They're going to own everything about us. And if we are a communist country that, <laughs> that owes another communist country, guess what? We become their bitch. And they own us and everybody in this place along with everybody's property in this place. This is a bad place to be. This is the kind of shit that makes the American dollar plummet to worthlessness, to the price of a peso in Mexico. Buy up gold and silver right now because that's going to be the only thing worth anything when the dollar crashes. Gold and silver are going to go through the roof. I bought myself a couple grams of gold, 24 karat pure gold bars from the Perth Australian Mint, just to put away off to the side. Just in case the American dollar crashes, I have some sort of actual, tangible item that's worth something. Now, let's get back to this whole theory. Now, Beijing Biden, obviously, they made the mail-in voting. The media pushed this shit, and now they've done this. So what happens next? What happens next? Well, Trump's administration and his, his lawyers are going to try their best to prove that there was corruption, collusion, and cheating, hopefully overturning this. But we all know that in most likely, the people in the deep state that run this shit are so deeply ingrained and in control that they will find a way to discredit and end this very quickly. They'll find a way to do this. But don't worry, even if Biden gets in, which he most likely will with his cheating ways, and he ruins this country for four years, you bet your bottom ass dollar that Donald Trump will be back in 2024 and he will win and he will be even more prepared and he will take back control of the reins and we will once again try to fix this great country of America. And who knows, maybe by then his son Donald Trump Jr. or his daughter will want to run in uh, 2028 or whatever it is and wouldn't that be great? We could have a few Trumps in a row really making this country what it should be, bringing it back to its state of power and greatness that it once was and once had. 
Because I'm telling you right now, going the way of communism and socialism, that ain't it, G. That ain't it. And, and your social studies teacher that told you that communism works is a fool and has been told to tell you this because the entire education system has been socialized and federalized and governmentized to the point to where they don't want you to think for yourself or learn how to use money. They want you to learn how to work for someone else, show up on time, shut your mouth, do as you're told, and not to question anything that you're taught, to just believe everything blindly and not look into anything yourself. It's a bad time we're living in, everybody, but that is the total reasons working theory into what's really going on with this coronavirus and the mail-in votes. So, on that note, I'd like to hear what you guys think. Tell me in the comments below what you guys think is going on. Is this coronavirus all a false flag, uh, a weapon, a, a weapon of war in order to swing votes? Is this a way to control everybody for the Great Reset? Is this a power grab? Is this a way to see how we'll react if we're told to do something like stay in and wear this and do that? I don't know. The last people that were told to wear a star on their chest and arm, it didn't go so good for them. Anytime you're forced or told to wear something, I don't know. That's the first sign that something's going all real, real wrong. I mean, it looks a lot like Sharia law, doesn't it? Masks and head coverings. Mandatory in public. Used to just be for women. Now it's for everybody. And on that note, on the total reason, you're watching Drama Live. Peace.